Man, you gotta love a good plastic bag. Quote of the century right there. Hi there, I'm Nathan and this is the Trendbatter Vintage Bluetooth Speaker. It packs some interesting features, a great design and an unboxing experience that kind of took me by surprise. I will be giving this speaker a full review later on in the video, but why don't you stick around to hear my thoughts on the unboxing. Okay, very unique box, I must say. It's not often you see a red and sort of beige cream color scheme going on. I kind of like that, I kind of dig that. So, right, what do we got? A lot of detail on the box. You got your output frequency, input, what color have we got? We've got the Linus Tech Tips orange going on. Paint your own Trendbatter ArtLink wireless speaker is a one-of-a-kind art project. Design your own creations, display worthy finished product. What? Uh, we gotta, gotta keep this nice and pristine, as always, here on the unboxing channel. Okay. Now that, that is some top-notch packaging. Wow. Yes, it's in a little, ooh. Oh, I'm loving this. Yes, it's in a plastic bag. Unfortunately, that does dock some points because plastic is bad and the environment and stuff is bad. We've got some foam packaging going on here. Got two cables, one is micro USB. Uh, you lose points for micro USB underneath. Again, packaged rather compactly, very, very neat. Uh, another faceplate. I'm guessing this one is the one that you paint on while this one is more just for display. We've got an instruction manual, which is also very neat. There's some effort gone into this and that's where the points come up. I'm actually kind of really pleased with that packaging. This thing, I'm gonna give this 8.1 out of 10. That's some solid packaging. Mostly the materials are all right. And even though this is plastic, it's a premium feeling plastic. I, I, I don't even know how to describe it, but it just, oh, I'm getting excited over a plastic bag. All right, that was the unboxing. And it wasn't too shabby either. But how does the speaker sound and perform? The answer is a bit more interesting than you might think, and I'll be showing that right after I ask you to <laughs> drop a like and subscribe. And let's get on with the video. Now the build of this, I like it. This one, oh no, this, oh wow, ooh, lights up. Don't that pick, oh yeah. That... Okay, well, it's on. Okay, so it lights up as well. This is really nice. We've got a Bluetooth setting here. AM radio, ah. FM radio, 88 to 91 FM. Currently not getting any radio stations. What about 96.5 West Sound FM? Annoyingly, where I live, there isn't great radio reception. However, taking a short trip up to the top of a hill confirmed that the radio does actually work and it's my house that's to blame. But let's try it out as a Bluetooth speaker, shall we? So let's set it to Bluetooth. Open some bit of Alan Walker. Okay, so it's pretty heavy on the treble. It seems to be quite muffled. It's, it's I mean, it's a decent sounding speaker, but it, it is just a little bit muffled, unfortunately. I feel like with a little bit more punch, this could be a really, really good speaker to just have on your sideboard. But unfortunately, the internals of it just feel a little bit like marginally subpar generic Bluetooth speakers, but in such a lovely body. I mean, look at that. That's so nicely designed. And honestly, I don't even know why you would ruin this with painting it. Oh yeah, that's the thing. You can paint this speaker. I saw this image in the Amazon listing and presumed it was merely a suggestion of what you could do but I didn't realize painting was a core feature of the product. Hey, that's a thing I just realized. This paint your own speaker doesn't even come with any paint or a paintbrush or anything. It's literally just, hey, we'll give you this and you can do whatever you want with it. This could be in a modern apartment. This could be in an old person's retirement apartment. I don't know why I keep talking about apartments. Just unfortunately the speaker, yeah, it's, it's, it's decent but it's nothing special. And that's as loud as it goes as well. Okay, so I'm recording this bit after I finished the video, but I realized that if you play music and you turn this up and you turn your phone volume up, it gets loud. Yes, 
so 5 out of 10 for speaker quality. Not bad. Not great. Passable as a gift, but only for Christmas or a 15th birthday. Not quite a 21st. The build quality and the look of it is absolutely fantastic and I love it. I love the wood effect on the outside, I love the gold, it's just really classy. But how does it look with a white front? Now taking off the front of the speaker took much, much longer than it should have because I was prying at the gold trim rather than using common sense and pulling at the mesh instead. But it comes off nice and easy. And if you don't have the tools for it, you can use this blue pry tool that comes included in the box. It looks nice internally as well. I mean, there's a reflection of me in there, so that much is obvious. Let's see how it looks with white. Man, even that looks really classy. Do I recommend you buy it? You know what? I think this would actually be nice as somebody's birthday present. It's classy, and it, it feels very premium when you're holding it. Like, it's got some weight to it. And if, if they are the painterly type, if they want to try their hand at decorating it for some reason, then they've got a spare cover. The gold just looks better, I think. Just adds a little bit of class to your audio listening session. That being said, micro USB? Come on, guys. Even knockoff keyboard cases I've tried made the effort with USB-C. I get that it's cheaper and easier, but it ruins the illusion of quality here. Also keep in mind that this thing costs nearly 50 pounds. For that price, micro USB is a joke. But yeah, I would recommend this if you want to buy a mid-range Bluetooth speaker. It's not amazingly expensive or amazingly cheap. It's really just a joy to behold. There, there's high praise, a joy to behold. The unboxing experience as well really just adds to that joy. When have you ever seen that color scheme on a box? I like it. And if you like this video, like if you like it, subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be.